Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of the Truth Seekers channel. Today I want to talk about the daggers found in King Tutankhamun's tomb. Um, they were found in Tutankhamun's knife was made from meteorite iron, a dagger entombed alongside the mummy of Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun was made with iron that came from a meteorite researchers say well it's not like king tut traveled to outer space and fashioned himself a dagger out of a meteorite he picked up on the moon the finding published in the journal meteorite meteoritics and planetary science was a clear indication that the blade was made from meteor meteoric iron Well, the BBC also had an article, took the camel's knife was made from meteorite iron. The dagger is except exceptional because of its composition and its high manufacturing quality, researchers say. Okay, but in that time, you had no iron. Iron was not invented yet. We, they did not know how to make iron. It was a Bronze Age. A dagger entombed alongside the mummy of Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun was made with iron that came from a meteorite. The weapon was one of a pair of daggers discovered by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1925 with the burial wrappings of the teenage king. The origin of its untrusted iron blade was baffled, has baffled scientists because such metal work was rare in ancient Egypt. It was actually non-existent in ancient Egypt. It did not have iron. Nowhere. Okay, let's see a part of ancient aliens. <clears throat> While other pharaohs' tombs were found to contain four magic curse bricks, only King Tut's includes a fifth. But why? That fifth brick may be a clue, a sort of X marks the spot, treasure. X marks the spot, treasure. So, these ancient aliens theorists think that something special was in that tomb. It could be the two knives. I'm sure it was the two knives. The two knives. But there was also a door. They found a hidden door in the tomb with some specific area he took a permission to go inside the north some hidden door to another tomb they say of his father who was Akhenaten and many theorize that he is also an alien okay well let me cut this short it's really simple the two blades found in the tomb of Tutankhamun, these are the blades, let me put it up closer, better. Two blades, one of uh, iron and one of a nozzle, another metal. But you could see two different types of knives. One was maybe for hunting and killing animals and the other one was maybe for eating or other finer works. So. So take a good look at these knives. Okay, and now to unravel the mystery. Let's look at some of these Anunnaki's stone carvings. What do we see here? What do the Anunnaki's have in their belt? They have two knives. Wow. Two knives that resemble these two knives. Okay, let's see some more images of knives. Here, look closer. Can you see it? two knives? Look closer. Two knives. Do you see the resemblance? These are the same daggers that these Anunnaki were carrying. They were like 
some say 50 some say 200 I think in the book of Enoch you will have like 200 fallen angels which were the same as the Anunnaki's so this is clear evidence that these knives are from the Anunnaki's I also have one image from um, Sumerian daggers from Ur, 4200 years old, in the British Museum. See, these daggers look also very suspiciously like what these aliens or Anunnaki's were carrying. This is not a coincidence, people. This, these are the daggers that they found in King Tut's tomb. Well, if you doubt, have any doubt, let me know. Please subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.